Vrindavan is full of gems, the ocean is full of gems and jewels. But they're not on the surface. On the surface is algae, spirulina. Very good. Spirulina makes you very strong. But if you gather a bunch of spirulina and you dry it out, and you take it to the marketplace and try to buy something, you won't get much. But if you go a little deeper in the ocean and you catch some fish, and you go to the market, you'll get a few rupees. And you can eat them too if you're that type of person and get some good energy. But if you go even deeper in the ocean, you'll find pearls, diamonds, gems, rubies, all kinds of things in the ocean. In the African coastline, gems wash up from the ocean on the beach. Emeralds, yellow sapphires, uncut. And there's whole 150 kilometers of beach. I think it's called the Ivory Coast or the Gold Coast. One of the coasts of Africa. Today, right now, it's owned and controlled by the government. Patrolled by machine guns and everything. In certain nakshatras, the waves wash up on the beach and the beach is full of gems. And the government, they collect them all. And that's part of the national treasury. Today, but to speak in Vedic times. So the ocean, Nidhi means gems, and Nidhi means ocean, because the ocean produces gems. I know many people in famous worldwide spiritual missions, that whenever they come to India, they're full-on members of, upstanding members of different spiritual missions. When they come to India for two weeks or a couple of weeks in Vrindavan, they spend like half their time in Barsana, with some famous Babajis, listening to their kirtan, being with them. And they go back to their countries and fully serve their mission after collecting all that mercy from these great saints and sadhus. It goes on. I know them very much. Where they are. I know some of them, let's say. So these gems are there, but uh, the gems don't come to you. You have to dive. You have to dive in the ocean. Discover, you discover them. They don't have neon signs, big, big signs. Gems, gems, gems. 